everyone. I am here with my horse tattoo today to talk to you about the trot. This is the third video as a part of my rhythm series. So if you haven't seen uh, the first two videos yet, just head over to my YouTube channel, Susan Rainville, and find the playlist labeled rhythm and you'll find those first two videos. But today in this video, what I want to cover is, is the rhythm of the trot how the horse's body works in the trot, how your body is supposed to be working while you're trotting on your horse. And then I'm gonna give you a really fun exercise that you can try to sort of test out your rhythm and help improve your own rhythm so that you make your horse's job a lot easier. It's also a really great exercise to help you develop a better sitting trot, get your horse to have a stronger back during sitting trot. And it's actually also a really nice exercise to help both you and your horse relax a little bit. If you're having a bad day, you can try this one and just have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so if you are ready to get down to the nitty gritty of the trot, please just hit that thumbs up button for me and we'll get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Tattoo trotting and first we'll talk about how his legs are working. So the trot is a two-beaded gait, which means that two of his feet are hitting the ground at the same time. And in the trot, it's the diagonal pairs that are working together. So you'll watch Tattoo as he trots around. His left front and his right hind leg are touching the ground at the same time, as well as his right front and his left hind leg. So right front, left hind leg, left front, right hind leg. So it's the diagonal pairs that work together. And as you notice, I'm just getting tattoo going and I'm doing my rising trot. And I am on the correct posting diagonal. So the reason we call your posting diagonal just that is because we are following the diagonal pair. So in general, what you wanna do is you wanna follow the outside shoulder in the inside hind leg. So when you look down, you can see that outside shoulder. When it's all the way back at you, you're all sitting in the saddle. And as it's going forward, you're gonna rise up forward with it. So while I trot around, just check out Tattoo's legs. And that you can see that as I'm posting, I'm rising and falling with his left front and his right hind. So one good rhyme to help you remember that is rise and fall with the leg on the wall. So the leg closest to the wall or the fence. And you'll notice as Hatu's trotting around also that the head and neck don't move quite as much as it does in the walk and the canter. I'm just gonna turn around that tattoo a little bit the other way. So as far as the rider is concerned, when you're trotting, we talked about our posting diagonal. You wanna make sure you're on the right posting diagonal. And I go into quite a bit of detail about posting the posting diagonal in my free training series. The first actual riding lesson in that series, we talk about that. So if you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and check that out as well after you're finished here. But the other thing that I wanna to talk to you about while you're trotting is your elbows and your arms. So the head doesn't move as much in the trot as it does in the walk. In the walk video, we talked about our arms really being soft and relaxed and following the motion of the horse's neck. In the trot, there's not a whole lot of movement to follow, but you notice, I'm gonna go back to rising trot, that while I'm trotting and I'm rising and falling, my arms aren't rising and falling with me. Okay, so you do wanna have the bend in your elbow and your elbow making a nice line to your horse's mouth. But when you're doing your posting trot, you wanna make sure your elbow is elastic feeling so that it opens and closes as you rise and fall into the saddle. 
okay? So that if you just keep your elbow bent and you don't let your elbow have that nice elastic feeling, then your hands are gonna follow you up and down, up and down, up and down as you post. But that will cause a disturbance for your horse's mouth. That you didn't really mind it so much, but you wanna keep your hands in place and let that angle of your elbow open and close as you're rising and falling. I'm just gonna come closer to the camera and just show you exactly what I mean by that. Again, we're sitting nice and tall on our horse, thinking about a riding position, head, shoulder, hip, and heel, all in that straight line. Our elbow, our arm has a nice bend to it, so we create that straight line from the elbow to the mouth. But when you're rising up from the trot, you wanna, as you rise, let your elbow angle open. And then as you sit, it closes. So open, close, open, close. That way your hand stays here instead of up, down, up, down, okay? So that's basically what you wanna really think about when you're trotting. You don't want to cause a disturbance in the connection, which will in turn cause a disturbance in the way your horse goes. You wanna to try to make sure that you're doing everything you can to stay nice and balanced on top of your horse and making their job of trotting around easy. So the little exercise that I wanna show you today is a fun little exercise just to test out and to see if you have good rhythm or not. Um, and if you don't, you can hopefully just have a little laugh at yourself and don't worry about it. You're just gonna practice this, this exercise and improve your rhythm as well as I mentioned earlier, it's gonna help you improve your sitting trot as well. The reason we wanna make sure as a rider that we have good rhythm when we're riding is because you need to be a good dance partner with your horse, you need to stay with your horse and let your body relax and follow the rhythm of the horse so that they can do their job as easily as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my rising trot. I'm gonna stay out here on my 20 meter circle I'm gonna make sure I'm on the correct posting diagonal. So rise and fall with the leg on the wall, that outside shoulder. Okay, and I'm gonna get a good trot going with tattoo. And what I'm gonna to try to do is just sit three steps, rise one, sit three steps, rise one, and keep going like that for half a circle. All right, and see if I can keep a good, good rhythm like that. So here, I'm gonna start at E. I'm gonna sit, one, two, three, rise, 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 two, three, rise. And then I'm gonna use the second half of my circle just to refresh that trot. So you're gonna give that a try. It looks easy. See if you can do it, if you can keep that rhythm. And when you get good, at sitting the three steps and only rising one, then you can try five. So I'm gonna try five here. One, two, three, four, five, rise. One, two, three, four, five, rise. One, two, three, four, five, rise. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, I know I messed it up. <laughs> okay, so if you mess it up, no big deal. Just have a little laugh and then just keep trying again. Now the reason I picked an odd number to sit is because of your posting diagonal. So if you start off on the right posting diagonal and you sit an odd number of steps, then you'll always, if you get it right, you'll always rise up on the correct posting diagonal, okay? So you can kind of make up your own variation of that exercise if you want. Uh, you know, a lot of times when I teach people in a class to, to try that just to see if they have good rhythm, if they can do it. A lot of times what they do, I'll show you. When I tell them sit three, rise one, they'll sit the three, one, two, three, and then they'll keep rising for a little while and then sit one, two, three, and rise. So the idea here is that you sit one, two, three, rise. One, two, three, rise. One, two, three. I messed that up. See, I was on the wrong posting diagonal. So make sure I start on the correct posting diagonal. And I'm gonna sit, one, two, three, rise, one, two, three, rise, one, two, three, rise. 
if you want your own variation and you think that's too hard to start, then try sit three, rise three, and see if you can keep that rhythm. So I'll try that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> okay? So you can kind of make up your own variation, but make it so that it is rhythmical and that you are keeping time to a certain specific beat. Okay, so that you improve your own rhythm. You can see that if I were to keep going with that, I could have sat seven steps and then nine and then 11 until I felt comfortable sitting for an entire circle. So not only does that exercise help you with improving your own rhythm so that your horse gets better and he can do his job as easily as possible, um, but it will, again, it'll improve your core strength, your sitting trot, to help your horse's back get stronger in a, you know, a methodical way so that they're good at maintaining sitting trot for longer and longer periods of time. And as well as I really love this exercise for people who are easily distracted or who have horses that are easily distracted. It is a good exercise where they have to really focus on counting and on their rhythm. And I find that people who get easily distracted can do this and then by the time they're finished with their exercise, they're so relaxed and so focused that when they're finished, they realize they didn't notice what was happening outside the ring and that they really just feel good and that their horse also relaxed too. So it's kind of almost like a active practice of meditation. So if you're having a bad day at work or at school, it's a really great exercise just to play around with, have a little bit of fun and notice that by the time you're finished, you're feeling relaxed and so is your horse. Okay, so I hope that that video was helpful to you. If you want more detailed uh, information about your horse's trot and how the trot works, you can find that very first video in my rhythm series as well as the first couple of riding lessons in my free training series. So um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.